Hi everyone, this is Alan Rosinski of Metro Manhattan Office Space. Good afternoon. Governor Cuomo, in his State of the State address a few days ago, announced several really key infrastructure improvements that he plans to make in Midtown West, and they are going to very much improve public transportation for businesses and also commuters in the area and for residents of Midtown West. What he's talking about doing is demolishing the kind of, to put it strongly, horrendous Port Authority bus terminal, demolishing it and uh, rebuilding it. I think it was originally built in the 1950s and it was expanded about 40 years ago, and at the moment it's dark. It's it's dingy. It's depressing. Nobody wants to take a bus in the Port Authority bus terminal. Also, since the start of the pandemic, there's crime in the area. And in fact, that whole area is experiencing some difficulties, which as a real estate broker, I've seen many tenants, many tenants that I placed in the area who want to leave that area and relocate to somewhat more secure areas of Manhattan. But it's not always going to be that way. That area is experiencing something of a renaissance, and you can't see it now because there's a recession and there's a pandemic. But I think what's really indicative of that is a new Moynihan train hall, which opened January for an absolutely gorgeous building. There's skylights, which I think uh, consist about 3,000 panes of glass. It's, uh, it's beautiful. And I mean, also, what Governor Cuomo is uh, talking of doing is extending the High Line Aerial Park directly to the Moynihan train hall. And also, a major part of Governor Cuomo's plan is to renovate and also expand Penn Station, which also is very old, rundown, overcrowded, and it could use a uh, gut renovation. Now, as many of you may know, the original Penn Station was destroyed, was demolished in 1963, and was replaced by the currently kind of repulsive underground series of train stations. But I mean, one good thing about the Moynihan train hall is that the entrances for Amtrak and the Long Island Railroad have been moved further west to the Moynihan train hall. Now, interestingly, in his State of the State address, Governor Cuomo refers to the public work programs by Franklin D. Roosevelt in the 1930s during the Great Depression. And he basically says that they uplifted people's spirits, they helped the economy. I mean, Governor Cuomo also says that it's a great time to perform public works infrastructure improvements in the city because interest rates are so low. But, you know, one thing to keep in mind, during the Great Depression, it wasn't the public work programs that lifted the United States out of the Depression. It was World War II and rearmament. So, I mean, let's hope these programs are good for the local economy. These uh, upgrades to the infrastructure that uh, Governor Cuomo is planning, I mean, my uh, concern about them as a longtime uh, resident of New York City since 1982, actually, is how they're going to get paid for. New York State currently has a budget of about $100 billion. They're running a very large deficit, about $8 billion. I very much hope that the politicians are able to plan accordingly. And while they invest in the infrastructure, they understand how to pay for it and perhaps will cut inefficiencies in New York State and New York City's budgets and the city continues to be prosperous. But I do think that these improvements to the infrastructure are going to be very positive for the commercial real estate market in Midtown West. And by Midtown West, I mean the Garment District, Hudson Yards, Chelsea, and I think it's also, it shows an opportunity now because the rents are very inexpensive in areas like the Garment District for tenants to lease space for the long term in these neighborhoods and enjoy the benefits of the public work programs which are going to be completed in the next few years. If you found this content interesting or helpful, I'd be happy if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. You can always find me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Metro Manhattan. Until the next time.